Hello everybody and welcome back to Sim Airport. I'm Stranky and um, we've got some more money now. I've left it running about a day and a half in game time. Something like that. And um, yeah, we have enough money to put our runway lights. Um, which will get us the ability to get night flights. So we'll not go on the schedule. Um, I'm not sure how many we can actually take. I think it's only like one or two flights, but it will keep the, the airport running longer. So um, we'll see um, from here. So we have, well, there's two more afternoon flights. We can't really take those. Um, 707, how big is the 707? Yeah, it's not too big. We'll, I guess we'll accept that. Um, those will have huge ones. 767. So we'll accept two flights. So we're going to our schedule. Night arrival. So, what we can do is we can move that one a bit closer. Something like that. Because these are two tiny flights. So, that gives us a bit more space between those two. So, that will be fine. So, we get two more flights a day. Plus, we get the money for signing them up. Um, now, this isn't working because... Um, it needs a hanger, and a hanger, small hanger, with one vehicle, with just one vehicle spot, it's 28 grand, but we're almost there, I mean now we've signed up those two other flights, we're almost, almost there, so people are turning up anyway, um, I want to get a few more vending machines down, we'll probably need to do a bit of an extension here. Um, and then soon we'll put in a second gate and um, just go out this way and put gate, 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 something like that. Um, and see what we can do. Um, I think this is the largest map. I can't remember now. I think it was the largest map there is in the game. It seemed bigger when, when I started it, but it's okay. Um, we could do a second runway down here, but I think we'll have a lot more room to work with. And eventually what we could do is maybe move this to the edge and bring up something like that around the taxiway or something like that. But that'll be to uh, completely make things uh, overhauled. But for now, we'll, we'll make do with what we got and expand along here. And see what we can do with two gates, bringing people in. Um, obviously, security would need to be upgraded. I think what we'll do is we'll upgrade everything before we do the gate so that we can manage extra people. Um, obviously, we need to put a door down here. We need um, this working properly. In fact, we can put the door right now. Um, D is for door. So that will let people out that way. It should help the flow. And then we'll need to do our um, thing whereby people can leave a different way than they come in. Um, there isn't like passport control, like coming back. Uh, really, we should have some of these to come back through. Um, I don't know, it's how the game works, but it's okay for now. So, um, I think they're adding stuff. I don't know what what actual version we're on. Um, I'm actually going to save. I've called the the airport Death Row because it's like Heathrow but with a D. So, and, and this is two. This is the um, first one that I was trying, um, trying to uh, save it. 
and when I was doing something that I thought might work, but I didn't want like I want might have wanted to roll back, but not all the way. Um, that's when I did this one. That's when it actually worked. So uh, we'll save. So yes, the uh, the airport is called Death Row because my aim is to get a big airport like Heathrow. Hopefully, not many people will die, but if he dies, he dies. What what film is that from? If you know, put it in the comments. It's a film I must have watched about thirty times, if not more. So, uh, at least these small planes, they don't bring much money in, but, um, uh, small hangar, we can afford it now. It can actually go here, hmm. I'll actually, I will put it there for now. Um, I mean, I'll have to cross the taxiway, but it's okay. And the wings might hit it, but I don't think that's actually like a collision. I don't think it's simulated in the game, at least at this point. So something we don't need to worry about. We just try and get things crammed in as best as we can. I mean, we might need to move it if we're going to do that, like we said. Maybe we'll bring it out that way. I don't know. We'll have to see what we're going to do. <coughs> Pardon me. Um... But yeah, at least we're making some progress. We've got the night flights, so we've got more money coming in. We've got um, this, uh, which is functional. Um, do we need to buy a baggage car? Yeah. Okay. And then we need to... Uh, connect that up there so until it's fully connected it doesn't work but there you go um, it was on utilities I don't know why it's on utilities maybe at some point they were going to add we can build that much there we go and another plane has come so we can build that much. Get them working hard. So at least like that. I mean, I think the airport. I mean, we're making money, so the airport is definitely working um, in its current state. So um, people don't seem to be missing flights. Um, we see probably we've got the um, the throughness like from experience from our last playthrough I guess um, but we'll have to see how when we had the second gate I think that's really when everything went tits up was when we added the se second gate so yeah I think we'll prepare tickets beforehand so another two desks um, I think at least one more can be served by the same queue, um, which should help. We'll get in another kiosk, we could probably get two or three. Um, those aren't too, um, too what you call it. We can actually uh, extend the zone for ticketing, um, which is the bottom one. This will all be ticketing. something like that we're gonna we'll have to improve our restrooms as well I mean we do have a bathroom probably some people are actually gonna come back through security to use the bathrooms or something we'll need to put some information stuff up as well so right now it's just a small airport I mean there's quite big planes coming apart from those two beach crafts but um, yeah at some point we'll probably try and replace them with other flights but for now it's okay there's other stuff we can do as well. We, I think we'll need, before we can get too many more flights, we'll need an air traffic control. Um, which is 
30,000. Uh, more than 10 flights. How many flights do we actually have scheduled? Um, let's go on this. Have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we can only really have two flights at another gate. So we'll be doing a lot of work just for two more flights. So, um, yeah, that's something we need to keep in mind. Because, uh, without the air traffic control tower, I mean, two flights will bring us probably about 6,000 per day in. Um, but obviously it's a, a lot of work um, to improve it if we're only going to be getting 6,000 more per day um, without the air traffic control tower so we probably need to equate for that um, in our extension so that we can make the most of it so let's at least get this working first so uh, back to utilities. Quite expensive, the old conveyor line. Well, I clicked on a passenger. So this is going to go up. What I could do, yeah, bring that as much as I can. And then I could always do like that and then have a few more baggage things on this side. Could possibly do a vending machine down here as well, so when people are waiting for their luggage, they can buy stuff. Bring more money in. But we have one vending machine right now, so that's something. And I think our full work when I'm managing, it's not like we have to build the whole airport um, from scratch at the moment, so. Uh, that's okay. Obviously these small planes, they don't really, because you get a cost per passenger and, and a landing fee and a taking off fee. So the landing fee and taking off fee is the same, but because you'll only have like nine passengers instead of 150, you, you really don't get as much, uh, as much money as like when one of these lands. The terminal usage is the one. See, it's three grand. Um, so let's go back to these. Can we connect it? Yes, we can connect it up. So that will be working properly. Finally, with our last flight of the day, our last money of the day. Actually, no, it's not, because now we have the two night flights. So if we make some money overnight, maybe we could um, start work on uh, improving ticketing. And there it is, actually. And he's doing the luggage. He's doing the luggage. There he goes. And he's going to load the luggage. That's much more efficient now. So the plane should take off a lot better. Um, I don't know if the last one did it. He's on route. Okay, he hasn't landed yet. It's due in at 10. So he took off early actually. Or on time. For me, on time is early. I'm always late. I'm always late for appointments and stuff. So we'll stop putting in some um, ticketing desks. One, two. Hide two staff. There we go. Um, and assign to Q. And assigned to Q. There we go. So four desks managed. That's quite good. All right. So I think we'll call this an episode here. Uh, shorter episode again, but 
yeah, we're making some progress in each episode. So in the next one, hopefully we'll start getting to work on our second gate, putting in that um, air traffic control. But I'm going to leave it running again, get some money in. So until then, I've been Stranky. This has been Sim Airport. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.